Okay, video 34 uh, is a continuation really of video 33. Uh, in video 33 we just uh, d discussed and demonstrated how you can uh, extract individual bits from free space and add them as child objects of the free space that you can then bookmark or uh, create comments on. Uh, but something else I wanted to show is uh, the categorization of particular um, sections that you might just want to group as search hits um, which as you may or may not know uh, you can view any searches that have been conducted and saved for a case by clicking the binoculars down here not to be confused with the simultaneous search binoculars that appear up there um, so uh, as usual I've got the file section of the viewing component enabled and if we click on free space it will show us all of the free space and as part of this free space are the files which I've already added as child objects, these two child objects as per video 33. Um, but I'm not going to go over that. Um, what we can do is demonstrate just how, for example, uh, let's say that section there was of interest as a search hit. Say you found a search hit by, for example, pressing Control and F while you're within this field it comes up with this fine text and you can uh, choose whether to Unicode or standard ASCII um, whole words blah 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 uh, and by the way if you want to do a search for a hex string in particular you can use the search uh, menu item up here and do find text values um, more or less the same but anyway so within, with our focus in here if we control F um, you can do keyword search. I'm not going to do that because I want to make this video fairly quickly. But let's say this section here that I've just highlighted, let's pretend it's a search hit that's come up. Right click and then if you, rather than uh, add block as virtual file, which is what video 33 demonstrates, if we instead choose add to user search hits, it will give a default category. Now you could create several categories and I will do in a minute, but just for the purposes of demonstration let's just accept that and just click OK doesn't appear to do much I'll show you what it has done later and now move on and let's say there's another segment here that's of interest right click add to user search it click OK move on let's just get past all this text uh, let's say this is something of interest right click add user search it just click OK now let's pretend this is something else Right click, add to user search hits, and in here we'll call it something else. Click OK, and let's say this is something else. And let's pretend that this is something else that's of relevance but in a different way to the rest. Something else too and so on and so on throughout the free space but what you can do now is if you click that button up the top here as you can see you get all the individual bits that you've highlighted within the free space all listed there quite nicely and more to the point down here to the bottom left which is where all your keywords that you run as part of a simultaneous live search or as we've just demonstrated um, as a uh, use a search hit all the way down here um, so if we just wanted to see the three in there if we just double click that it will show us those three from there if we do this one instead it will show just those two and if we choose this one instead it will show us just that one uh, now remember as always with x ray Forensics what's shown in here when you click any of these is dictated by what level you click up here so if you're in the case route it will show you all the results for all of these terms in here if you right click say documents and settings um, it will only show you the hits from documents and settings downwards so as is in this case if you've bookmarked or sorry if you've um, assigned user search hits from bits from free space well they're only going to be within the system uh, the partition route so um, 
you're only going to get these results if you make sure you're clicking in the root of the partition. So let's just demonstrate that. If I right click there, I've got a recursive view on as you can see, but there's nothing in here because all of my user search hits are only f in that free space which is only in the partition and not in any child subfolders. Um, that's it, easy.